a lot of people. Why there. are people not going to that tournament? I do not understand. The Midwest is going. Minnesota's going. No, there's that's not a reason to not go to that tournament. Nexus is going to be huge. That is the next Okay, you are driving? You're going okay, to good. Yeah, okay, good. people are showing up. I I mean uh my like, boy Marshall's be, going. What I mean by like sure. not that needs to have more hype. That yeah. tournament needs to have yeah. more hype right now. I mean, you know, names are one thing, but turnout from the Midwest is another. You like you know you know, yeah. once you have just so many hidden bosses from the Midwest going, that should be reason alone to go. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Sure, oh no, Ally's not showing up. Whatever. Who cares? I Whatever, dude. Dude, we got Modi on screen. It's gonna screen. be hype. Oh, we got Modi on screen. We have Team D Money Modi. D Money Modi. It's Double Bowser Jr. Yo, are you serious? Yeah. So D Money is uh he he is the pro he's the protege of Modi. Um, oh, dude, I was yeah. Dude, I was just talking about this guy today. Yes. He's uh yep. was, is he Wisconsin? He's Wisconsin. Yeah, I just got body by him in top eight uh, dude, right just a on. week ago. He has like a yeah. big thing with like Reed, right? Where he like. Really? Yeah, yeah. So he, he's yeah. got some daddy pow pow memes. Oh jeez. Um, so he, he's basically our, our meme lord right now in Wisconsin. Okay. But no, he does have a very solid Bowser Jr. Came out of nowhere. Uh, came to you know he, he's a Madison player. Um, came out of absolutely nowhere. Um, wrecked a lot of people's crap. Um, I beat him round one of his tournament, but like yeah, since then he's definitely leveled up his game. Uh, you know, been in talks with Modi, and wow. Takes one, ends one, right there. Yeah, no Trading kidding. stocks immediately. Um, D Money just definitely showing his worth. Um, he's got a very scary neutral. He's got habits um, that can be exploited, I believe. But um, his neutral game is absolutely insane. Yeah. And it's, it, now, tell me, I mean, this is like a popular change? Do they do this often? No, this is the first time. Uh, this is actually Deem, uh, Modi's birthday present to D Money is that they're teaming <laughs> here today. So it's absolutely going to, it's a treat to watch. And, uh, you know, I, I'm very excited to that's see how far exciting. they make it. Yeah, no, that's um, awesome. Um, I'd say that this matchup is probably a lot of, like, projectile harassment. Right, no, I'm it absolutely is. Yeah? It, it's also uh, spamming side B on opposite edges and seeing uh, if you can hit them and convert the combos. Right, um, yeah, okay. But, Similar to, like, a Sonic Spin Dash. Yeah, so the, I think uh, Seagull Joe is going to be their biggest bait in this matchup for sure. Uh, because he's going to be, he's got more mobility than either Bowser Jr.'s have. Um, so that's going to be killing uh, Sonic is going to be their biggest problem in this matchup. Yeah. And we're already seeing already uh, Seagull Joe hanging on at 144 um, while, um, you know, there's already a stock deficit of, of two now. Right. It's so It looks like it's so hard to get a hold of Sonic. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're just like throwing out like forward smashes every once in a while. Well, which I it has so many active frames. Yeah. Uh, people just kind of run into it, especially in double. So I'm not, it's not the worst tactic, especially on ledge. If you do normal get up, you definitely sure. finish. Sure, yeah. But we saw Modi finally taking the first stock from Seagull Joe. Um, it's still a long ways to go, though. Oh. Which time? Oh, does he get that? Try to connect that up there. Off of the spin dash. Wow. <laughs> oh, looks like Pinkfresh got that punish for going for a double smash attack in neutral, um, which I think he was confident that they would hit, but definitely didn't happen. Yeah, maybe maybe hoping for that low mobility to, to kind of... Oh, no! Ooh, saw D Money taking the stock. Um, you know, it's a three stock deficit right now. Uh, D Money, uh, I don't really have faith in it oh, <laughs> at all. Footstool from yeah. uh, Pink Fresh there. But no conversion immediately afterwards. Wow! No, they planned these. These are not accidental footstools, ladies and gentlemen. They want these to convert into huge damage, uh, you know, amalgamations. Yeah, and it's a, it's a low knockback off of the heavyweight character that's going to let them do that very easily. Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Sonic. That was, oof. That was a little painful. Yeah. I was really hyped at the beginning of the start of the match because I really wanted uh, Team D Money Modi to do well. Well, you know, I think, I think. Looking at this match that just happened, right. um, they need they need a little less room, I think. They need to like start using those big hitboxes in their favor. Mm -hmm. um, so I think they're gonna maybe, hopefully, shorten the stage a little bit. Yeah. Right. Oh no, they went to somewhere just as big. Well, Town and city. city action, which is 50% FD. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I, I get. I'm just trying to understand the, the thought process of that. Uh, Heavyweight characters, you're getting comboed easily, you're playing against Bayonetta. I'm not sure if this is the right pick here. I think they're going for the Randy up smashes, maybe. I have no other explanations. 
other than that. Um, side B into up B combos with Bowser Jr. is a really sick combo that they could really convert off easily. Oh my goodness. But uh, we saw that witch time on, you know, uh, you know kill yeah. Modi real, real early. It's not probably going to be happy about that. That was, like, that was 20 seconds in. Oh, jeez. That was nuts. And we saw back air uh, from Pink Fresh again. Yeah. Taking another stock from the team Bowser Jr. Just 40 seconds in, and there's already been two stocks off red team. Uh, they need to slow this game down and put them back in their favor. It's hard because Sonic can just run, and Bayonetta can just out-prioritize. Right. Um, that's, that's a huge problem. Yeah, I think the Koopa Kids kind of got wrecked in the matchup game right now. Um, I, I think they could do better against a lot of different other characters. Definitely. Other I just really agree. Yeah. This is a rough matchup for both of them. Uh, but King Fresh is going to lose his first stock. Wow. Oh, man. Got so, Morton dying only at 91% yeah. off the top of Town City. That's rough. That's a bit of heartbreak for me personally. And oh, oh no! And accidentally takes his own partner's uh, stock. I mean, I that's an unfortunate part that. of that's recovery in general. I mean, right. to turn the same side. How do you even avoid that? Ah, uh, you really can't. You don't yeah. have much air mobility as the uh, Koopa Kids when you're that low below the stage. Just kind of, kind of hope, hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Oh, Ooh. the witch time has lasted forever. I'm surprised how long that lasted. Yeah, like. that seemed a lot more than four seconds. Yeah. I don't know. About I don't know. That. Evidence that ISO. <laughs> Evidence that <laughs> ISO. Check, check Stern's Wii U for uh, Bayo hack and shenanigans. <laughs> Seems like the kind of guy would buff a Pichu. <laughs> Ooh, edge guard situation right there, but it's so hard to edge guard Bayonetta because that upbeat goes through pretty much everything. Yep. And here we are. Crazy. Almost, almost a six stock. That's not what you want to see. No. Yeah. You definitely don't want to see that. And that's gonna do it. Bayo going right off that top. We'll see if the Koopalings can power up later in bracket and maybe get some uh, some better matchup coverage I mean, this than is, what they saw right there. They're still on winner's side, so that's that's only their first loss. Right. So right. Uh, that's that's good for them. I think uh, taking this loss and like adapting, mm -hmm. uh, you know, maybe going to practice a little bit or like figuring out a new strategy. Um, I think item placement was was very poor there. Right. Um, I think their synergy was very poor. Um, so I think going back there, like maybe doing some practice matches against the people and then the friendlies uh, setups that are around the, the venue would be a right. smart option. Right. It's it's a hard team to really well, yeah, I mean, synergize if, with. Yeah, and especially you know? if it's like their first time doing that and if it's like another Bowser Jr. Like, I mean, that's something that, you know, you can maybe like walk into that matchup saying like, well, I know Bowser Jr. So I can definitely learn your play style. But right. at the same time, like that's a completely different person playing, a, playing the exact same character that you play. Um, there's going to be a lot of differences, and understanding those differences is going to be kind of hard. Like, oh, he 